Hello everybody, Christian from the Coin Dictionary here, and today we're going to be speaking about the 1976 50 Pfennig from the Federal Republic of Germany, or West Germany, going over its values and all the information, history, mintage, the design. Um, we'll really be talking about it in depth, but first I want to say thank you to our shop, our sponsor, excuse me, MA Shops. MA-Shops.com is a trusted online marketplace with ancient U.S. and world coins, paper money, um, stamps, and a variety of other collectibles. So go on over to MAShops.com and see if they've got some coins that are like this or maybe a little bit rarer. There's a good selection. But this coin will start on the front. is shows a Trümmerfrau, which basically means a woman who is uh, rebuilding Germany as it was totally... Um, bombed and destroyed after World War II, after the Germans had lost the war. Um, so the oak is sort of a um, symbol of rebirth that she's planting, um, turning a new chapter. The back of the coin is more just informational, saying 50 Pfennig, uh, the Federal Republic of Germany. It's a copper nickel coin weighing 3.5 grams, 20 millimeters across, so it's a little bit smaller than a nickel. And it's no longer circulating. They made these coins from 1950 to 2001 when they switched over to the euro and converted at a 1.955 marks to 1 euro. So this is basically like 25 euro cents um, if you do the conversion. Um, this coin is metal aligned like this and they demonetized at the end of 2001. Though Germany is one of the only um, places that honors their coins and money forever. So... Um, or at least they haven't um, not honored it yet. Now, there's a few different mint marks I want to draw your attention to. Um, so here you see 50 D, um, J, and G. There's a few that we do not have, but um, D is going to be for Munich. F is in Stuttgart. G is in Karlsruhe. And J is in um, Hamburg. So these mints have been going for a really long time, but for 1976, the mintages were at f as follows. For the G mint, there were 6,653,000, so that's one of the better ones. For the J mint, uh, there were 10,716,000. Um, for the D mint, there were 10,411,000. And for the F mint, there were 12,048,000 from Stuttgart, but I don't have any of those. So um, we've got three of four in front of us. Neither of them are particularly rare, um, but they're probably going to be worth always that base value of 25 or 30 cents or so. But I think people probably pay, yeah, I would say 30 to 35 cents for a really nice uncirculated example with good luster. You might be able to get, you know, a dollar or so for it. But these are not super rare. But in bulk especially, you can exchange them for their exchange value, which is much better than a coin that weighs 3.5 grams. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian, and I own The Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date precious metals pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, coinsmetalscards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a new source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as whatsthegrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.